Hi all, I just wanted to give a quick update which you may be aware if you saw my Astro weekly update in terms of energies and making us aware of it so I don't, I'm not like an astrologist that goes through like a trine square in this, I pick up the main ones. So today, um, the 17th or if it's the 18th, I'm going into the 18th right now but a lot of people I know it's still the 17th, some people are already in the 18th. Mercury squares Gemini, uh, Mars, which is a Gemini. Now, this day means that you could find people that are tense, argumentative, um, like something petty could turn into a big conflict. Um, people are just ready to blast out, express themselves. So with that lashing out, it's probably best to avoid such situations. So if you feel like a conflict is about to happen, maybe just avoid it, let the hot winds um, or the winds blow, let the hot headedness calm down. And then maybe towards the end of the weekend, you can bring it up. Obviously, if someone's crossed your boundary, this is totally different. Some of us as well, not because of only this thing, but um, all this square is you might be feeling in a bit of a funk. Like some of us are purging, some of us are okay, some of us are healing. And I mentioned like Chiron's still at play. Uh, 16th, Venus went into Taurus, which is lovely because Venus is one of Taurus's rulers and she loves being in it as opposed to Aries. But if this weekend you're feeling like you want your comfort blanket, if you're feeling like you want your comfort blanket, then, or you want to be in a bit of a hermit mode, then just honour that. If you're not feeling anything and you're ready to party and go out for your weekend because you've been waiting for it and it's your weekend, it's your days off, then that's brilliant as well. Just be aware if you like, okay, why is that, why is that person so got so you know, wound up from something, it might be to do with that. And there's something around masculine energy and suppressed masculine energy. Um, but I'll go into that another day. So I just wanted to give an update on the weekend, but that will start to get better at the beginning of the week as we move into the new astro calendar and Aries. Don't forget we're still in Pisces. So just honour what you need to honour. And I felt really called to say this. Another thing is that I think there might be, you might have had dreams. I feel like there's people from the past turning up, but more so in dreams, visions, daydreams. I don't feel daydream is the word I want to say, but everyone will understand it. But do you know if like, for example, you're sat somewhere, you're with a group of friends or you're in a meeting and then suddenly you just mind slip somewhere else. And when you come back, you're like, wow, I just slipped, I wasn't present for a moment, but you had like, something came to you in that sense, or, you know, even past loved ones in your dreams, it could have started happening a couple of days ago, over the weekend as well, I feel that that energy is coming up, um, they could, it could be past people coming into your life, but I feel it's around that, um, so yes, and the other thing is, uh, all your readings are up on YouTube for your individual signs, I will be pulling up um, channeled messages, just mini short channel messages for the elementals for your signs. And also just, um, I'm just waiting for the energy to shift a little bit on that. Um, I definitely felt a bit of a funk earlier. Um, and the moon is crossing over into Capricorn, is in Capricorn. So that's, the moon doesn't necessarily like to be in Capricorn. So with that square as well, it's like not the most loving feeling. But yeah, there'll be channeled one sentence messages for each individual signs as well as elemental. And if you haven't seen your readings, do check them out and do check your affirmations. Things will be coming up and I hope you have a lovely weekend. Let me know how you've been feeling. Um, yeah, and have an amazing day wherever you are in the world. Bye for now.